what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The owner of the Houston Texans football team has apologized for comparing players who protest the national anthem to inmates running a prison. Check out what he said in his fake-ass apology letter. I regret I used that expression. I never meant to hurt anyone, and I was not referring to our players. He said this in a statement on Friday. I used a figure of speech that was never intended to be taken literally. I would never characterize our players or league that way, and I apologize to anyone who was offended by it. Now, he made this statement at a meeting, uh, a recent meeting between NFL owners, team executives, and league official Roger Goodell in hopes of finding a common ground with players across the league who were protesting police misconduct and racial injustice. Now, according to ESPN, the magazine, McNair has received scores of complaints from NFL fans who are pissed off about people kneeling during the national anthem. So he said this, we can't have the inmates running the prison. Why am I not surprised about these comments? Well, maybe because you got an old, rich, bitter white dude who was probably one of those dudes who was beating up black folks at the Woolworths during the lunch counter protestings. He'd been around for a long time to make a statement like that. Now, let me tell you something. You can make a statement like that and it be taken as a figure of speech when you don't have it being mentioned in the context that it's mentioned in and with the polarizing um, climate that you have right now with people protesting racial disparities. You can make a comment like that. But under these circumstances, in a meeting about racial injustice, police brutality, and with the majority of the people that's protesting being black, to not have some type of sensibility that saying something like that probably ain't the right thing to say. It lets me know a little something. It gives me some insight to your psyche. You're the owner. You're the owner of the team. They're the players. You call the shots. You write the checks. You do what you say. Do it and get fired. That's your mentality. Now, some people say, well, you know, when you own the team, you're the boss. You get to do whatever you want to do. Not necessarily. If he wanted to sexually assault one of the players, could he do that and get away with it? Would that be okay too? No, you can't just do whatever you want to do just because you're the boss. And you can't violate people's rights just because you're the boss. Some people have no scruples. Some people will let you get away with violating and doing anything to them because they feel they have no power. And if that's your feeling, I can get that if you just honestly feel that you have no power. But some people don't have guts. Some people don't have the nuts to stand up for anything. They just go with the flow. And their whole life, they're going to live it, going with the flow, not fighting for anything, not standing up for anything. Oh, they'll bitch on social media, talk a little shit, they'll do that. Cost nothing. And most of them that do it, they do it 
under the guise of anonymity. So psst, they're not sacrificing anything. But God forbid you make them sacrifice something, man, you better get out of here. They can't take it. They can't stand the pressure. According to ESPN, the Texans players wanted to stage a walk out of practice today after they heard about the comments, but they were talked into staying and going along with the program. Everybody except their star wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. He didn't show up. You heard about the comments? I said, I ain't going to practice today. It's going to be interesting to see will he show up for the game. I don't know, man. A lot of people keep commenting, well, I'm paying you millions. They're getting paid millions. They're getting paid millions. All you people that say, say stuff like that, you're getting paid millions, you'd show up to, you'd go to, you'd stand up, you'd just comply. If it's all about the money, it's not about principle. It's not about standing up against police brutality, standing up against racial injustice. So it's not about that. I mean, that's important now. According to you, that's important, but it doesn't trump money. So if it's all about the money, if somebody gave you a million dollars, would you suck a dick? Now, I'm talking to the men especially. Would you kill your children for a million dollars? Kill your spouse? Oh, I ain't want to say spouse because some of y'all, y'all do that in a heartbeat. Kill your parents? Would you kill your mom for a meal? For a meal ticket? How about two million? How about three million? How about 10 million? 20? What would you do? What would you not do for the money? Is there anything that you're willing to fight for at any cost? I mean, when I say at any cost, I mean, it don't matter what it costs you. Doesn't matter how much money it costs you. Even if it costs you your life, would you stand for something? Is there anything worth standing for in your mind? Is there anything worth fighting for? Is there anything on your list of principles or do you even have a list of principles? Do you just kind of like go with the flow? Now, of course, there's a lot of people out there who try to make it just about the flag and they say, we stand for the flag, get out of our country. Get out of our country. Bitch, we built this country. If anybody deserves the right to be here, it's us again. I'm not surprised by Bob's comments. His $1 million donation to Donald Trump's inaugural campaign was a precursor to this type of statement. Calling the players inmates. That's how you look at them. So if they're the inmates, I guess the NFL is the prison and he's the warden. Bob McNair, let me Direct your attention to the White House as you cast your gaze over the remains of the government and the inmate that has been running it ever since January. Your friend, the Mandarin thief, Donald Trump, a.k.a. Adolf Twitler. I'm surprised you didn't say that the players were slaves running the plantation. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Florida, Texas.